What if I told you that in 2024, Europe, the birthplace of enlightenment, human rights, and modern democracy, is still home to hidden barriers that keep Muslims out? With a total population of over 740 million, Europe is a continent of diverse cultures, languages, and beliefs. Yet, despite this diversity, Christianity remains the dominant religion, with over 70% of Europeans identifying as Christian. Islam, on the other hand, is the second largest religion, with around 5% of the population, nearly 37 million people practicing it. But in a land that boasts of freedom and inclusion, why are there still countries where Muslims are unwelcome? This isn't about legal bans or overt discrimination, no, the reasons are far more complex, more insidious. What could drive a nation too subtly, yet effectively close its doors to a particular religion? Could it be fear, historical wounds, political maneuvering? Or is it something much deeper, something rooted in the very identity of these nations? Let's uncover the hidden stories of the top 10 European countries where Muslims aren't allowed in 2024, and the shocking reasons behind this exclusion. 10. Slovakia, a nation of barriers. In the heart of Europe lies Slovakia, a country that stands as a quiet sentinel against the influence of Islam. With a population of around 5.5 million, Slovakia is predominantly Catholic, and its government has taken extreme measures to ensure that this religious identity remains unchallenged. Did you know that Slovakia was the first European country to ban the official recognition of Islam? In 2016, a law was passed requiring any religion to have at least 50,000 adherents to be recognized by the state. Islam, with fewer than 5,000 Muslims in the country, didn't stand a chance. As of 2024, not a single mosque exists in Slovakia, a statistic that leaves many questioning the country's commitment to religious freedom. The government justifies its stance as a measure to protect national security and cultural identity. But is that really the truth? Surveys reveal that more than 60% of Slovaks believe Islam is incompatible with Slovak culture. This belief has fueled policies that not only prevent Muslims from practicing their faith, but also from even entering the country. What does this say about Slovakia's future in a multicultural Europe? 9. Latvia, the forgotten exclusion. Latvia, a small nation on the Baltic Sea, is often overlooked in discussions about religious freedom. But in 2024, it stands as one of the least welcoming countries for Muslims. With a population of just under 2 million, Latvia has a tiny Muslim community, comprising less than 1% of the population. But why is such a small group met with such hostility? In recent years, Latvia has passed a series of laws that effectively prevent Muslims from gaining citizenship. Why? The government claims it's about preserving the Latvian way of life, a phrase that echoes fears of cultural erosion. The result? A country where Muslims are not just marginalized, but actively excluded. The construction of mosques is heavily restricted, and Islamic practices are often met with suspicion or outright hostility. Did you know that in 2024, Latvia had the highest rate of hate crimes against Muslims in the Baltic region? With over 75% of Latvians expressing concerns about the influence of Islam, it's no wonder the government has adopted such draconian measures. But what does this mean for a nation that prides itself on being a part of the European Union, an institution that champions human rights? 8. Hungary, the fortress of Central Europe. Hungary, under the leadership of Viktor Orban, has become synonymous with anti-Muslim sentiment. Since 2015, Hungary has taken a hardline stance against Muslim immigration, a policy that has only intensified it in 2024. With a population of nearly 10 million, Hungary is overwhelmingly Christian, and its government has made it clear that it intends to keep it that way. Did you know that Hungary has one of the strictest immigration policies in Europe? Muslims, in particular, face significant hurdles, from visa restrictions to outright bans. The government argues that these measures are necessary to protect national security and preserve Hungarian culture. But is there more to the story? In Hungary, over 70% of the population supports the government's anti-Muslim policies. This support has emboldened Orban to implement laws that effectively bar Muslims from entering the country. The construction of mosques is prohibited, and Islamic organizations are closely monitored by the state. What does this mean for Hungary's place in the European Union, where freedom of religion is supposed to be a fundamental right? 7. Poland, the stronghold of Catholicism. 
Poland, a nation with a deeply ingrained Catholic identity, has taken extraordinary steps to keep its art. With a population of nearly 38 million, Poland is one of the most religious countries in Europe, with over 85% of its citizens identifying as Catholic. But why has this led to such a strong resistance to Muslims? In 2024, Poland remains one of the few European countries with virtually no Muslim immigration. Did you know that less than 0.1% of Poland's population is Muslim? The government's policies have made it nearly impossible for Muslims to settle in the country. Strict immigration laws, combined with a lack of legal recognition for Islam, have created an environment where Muslims are not just unwelcome but practically invisible. Poland's stance is driven by a desire to preserve its Catholic heritage. But is this really about faith or is it about fear? Recent surveys show that over 80% of Poles believe Islam poses a threat to their way of life. This belief has fueled policies that exclude Muslims from the national fabric, raising questions about Poland's commitment to European values. 6. Bulgaria – A History of Tension Bulgaria, with its complex history of Ottoman rule, has a fraught relationship with Islam. Today, Muslims make up about 10% of Bulgaria's population, a legacy of the country's Ottoman past. But in 2024, Bulgaria has taken steps to limit the influence of Islam, particularly among its immigrant population. Did you know that Bulgaria has some of the most restrictive laws on religious expression in Europe? The government has implemented measures to curb the spread of Islam, from banning certain religious garments to limiting the construction of new mosques. These policies are justified as necessary for national security and social cohesion. But what are the real motives? Bulgaria's actions are influenced by a deep-seated fear of returning to Ottoman-era domination. Surveys reveal that nearly 65% of Bulgarians view Islam with suspicion, a sentiment that has been stoked by political leaders. This fear has translated into laws that marginalize Muslims, particularly those from immigrant backgrounds. What does this mean for a country that is home to one of the largest Muslim populations in Europe? 5. Greece, the tensions of tradition. Greece, the cradle of Western civilization, has a complex relationship with Islam. With a Muslim population of around 5%, Greece is one of the few European countries with a significant Muslim minority. But did you know that in 2024, Greece still lacks a fully functioning mosque in its capital, Athens? This is despite decades of promises from the government. The Greek government has been slow to recognize the rights of its Muslim population, particularly in the wake of the refugee crisis. Why? The issue is rooted in Greece's national identity, which is deeply intertwined with Orthodox Christianity. The construction of mosques has been met with resistance, both from the public and political leaders. What does this say about Greece's ability to integrate its Muslim minority? Surveys indicate that over 70% of Greeks believe Islam is incompatible with Greek culture, a belief that has fueled policies aimed at restricting Islamic practices. The government's reluctance to support the construction of mosques in Athens is a clear indication of this tension. But what will be the long-term consequences of this exclusion for a country that lies at the crossroads of East and West? 4. Denmark, the Nordic Paradox Denmark, known for its progressive values, might seem an unlikely candidate for this list. But in 2024, the country has implemented some of the strictest immigration policies in Europe, particularly targeting Muslims. With a population of around 5.8 million, Denmark is predominantly Lutheran, with only about 5% of its population identifying as Muslim. Did you know that Denmark has banned the wearing of face covering veils in public? This law, passed in 2018, was just the beginning. In 2024, the Danish government has introduced even more stringent measures to limit Muslim immigration and integration. But why? The Danish government argues that these policies are necessary to preserve social cohesion and protect Danish values. But is this really about values or is it about fear of the unknown? Surveys show that over 60% of Danes believe Islam is a threat to their way of life, a sentiment that has been reflected in the country's increasingly restrictive immigration laws. What does this mean for Denmark's reputation as a champion of human rights? 3. Italy, the battle for identity. Italy, with its rich history and deep Catholic roots, has seen a rise in anti-Muslim sentiment in recent years. 
With a population of around 60 million, Italy has a Muslim minority of about 2.5 million. But did you know that in 2024, Italy still lacks a national framework for recognizing Islam as an official religion? The Italian government has been slow to grant Muslims the same rights as other religious groups. Why? The issue is tied to Italy's national identity, which is closely linked to Catholicism. The construction of mosques and the recognition of Islamic holidays have been met with resistance, both from the public and political leaders. But what does this say about Italy's ability to embrace religious diversity? Surveys indicate that over 60% of Italians believe Islam is incompatible with Italian culture, a belief that has fueled policies restricting Muslim immigration and integration. The government's refusal to acknowledge Islam on equal footing with other religions has led to a lack of official mosques and a general atmosphere of exclusion for Muslims. But how long can Italy maintain the stance in an increasingly multicultural Europe? 2. Switzerland, the mountain of resistance. Switzerland, often perceived as a beacon of neutrality and human rights, harbors a surprising resistance to Islam. With a population of around 8.5 million, Muslims make up about 5% of the population. But did you know that in 2024, Switzerland still upholds a nationwide ban on the construction of minarets? This ban, enacted in 2009 following a controversial referendum, remains in place today. Why? The Swiss government argues that the ban is a reflection of the public's will, citing the need to preserve the country's cultural landscape. But is there more to the story? The minaret ban is just one of several measures that reflect Switzerland's uneasy relationship with Islam. Over 60% of Swiss citizens express concerns about the influence of Islam in their country, a sentiment that has led to increasing restrictions on Muslim religious practices. The construction of new mosques is heavily regulated, and public displays of Islamic faith are often met with suspicion. What does this mean for a country that prides itself on its democratic values? 1. France, the struggle for secularism. France, a country known for its commitment to secularism, has a complicated and often contentious relationship with Islam. With a population of around 67 million, France is home to Europe's largest Muslim population, estimated at around 6 million. But did you know that in 2024, France has some of the most stringent laws against the public expression of Islamic faith? The French government's policies are rooted in the principle of secularism, which seeks to keep religion out of public life. Why? The French state argues that these measures are necessary to maintain social cohesion and ensure equality. But is that really the whole story? Since the early 2000s, France has passed a series of laws that have increasingly restricted the public expression of Islam. In 2024, the ban on religious symbols in public spaces, including the wearing of hijabs in schools and public buildings, remains one of the most controversial policies in Europe. The government's stance is widely supported, with over 70% of French citizens believing that Islam is incompatible with French values. This belief has fueled a wave of anti-Muslim sentiment leading to the closure of numerous mosques and Islamic organizations accused of promoting extremism. But what are the consequences of such policies? France's Muslim community faces daily challenges in practicing their faith, raising questions about the country's ability to integrate its Muslim population in a meaningful way. What does this say about the future of France as a multicultural society?